Hi everybody, this is Anirudh and today we'll deploy our front-end application on GCP Cloud Run. So uh, to begin that, what to, to start off with what we'll do is we'll create an image of our front-end application. Here is my front-end application, a very basic application with login, registration and main page. And I've created a Docker file for this. Here is a Docker file. The Docker file is in the root directory. And this Docker file, what it essentially is doing is it's creating an image. So I'm creating an image using this command docker build hyphen T. And this is the name of my image. And here uh, to the uh, volume volume mapping, so dot over there. And then this creates the image. And now what we're going to do is, uh, as, as you can see here, that this is the uh, Docker desktop. And here you can see that the image is locally created. Now what we'll do is, let me head on to uh, so here I'll head on to GCP artifact registry. So when we head to GCP artifact registry, that's where we'll push this local image and we'll push it to artifact registry and from artifact registry, we'll pull it to cloud run. So that's the process of doing this. So I'll head to artifact registry. And here is our artifact registry. So it will show up and here's our artifact registry. And I previously have uh, three uh, images already pushed from Docker. So now we start pushing our uh, images. So I already have the, um, the code ready, like the terminal code ready to type, uh, put it on the terminal over here to push it uh, to artifact registry. So let's start off. So initially you need to have Google Cloud CLI configured on your terminal. So if I do G Cloud in it, then we'll, we should be able to. OK, I have to do it from uh, the terminal, not from here. So I will go to where my project is. So here I have opened up the terminal here I'll do a G cloud in it. And once I do that, it should allow me to. Uh, so here is my account and using this account, I will be able to uh, initialize my G cloud. So I'll hit one over here and then. And then here I can choose the account from which I want to begin the operations. So one again and here I have list of my projects on GCP. So currently I'm going with number one. So you can create your project accordingly. So I've done that and I am set with that project. Now what I'll do is I'll run the set of commands that I have over here. So I'll uh, paste the commands in uh, on in the comment section. So so first so Docker build was complete and now we will enable the API for artifact registry. So go here and paste it enable. So this will enable the API. And now that that is done, we'll create a repository on artifact registry. So I'll copy this and it basically creates the repository name A2 frontend in the format of Docker. And this is the location and a simple description. So I'll paste it here and then enter. And then it should quickly create the uh, See now here, as you can see, it's create it just created the uh, repository. So if I head back to my artifact registry and I do a quick refresh, we should be able to see it. And let's see if it pops up here. Yeah, so we have a two front end. This is the new repository that's created. So uh, next, what we need to do is uh, we need to do a G Cloud auth to configure Docker. And so this is one more step that we need to follow. So I'll enter that. And again, I'll paste this code in the comment section so others can also uh, try this out. And once that is done, uh, we'll tag our. So what this Docker tag actually does is so locally, as you can see locally here, we have created our A2 front end. So now what we'll do is we'll tag our local image to the uh, repository that we have created on artifact registry. And so just copy this, I'll tag it, I'll paste this. So now this is tagged and now I will push the image. 
So, you know, it's like this, this step is for linking it and now we'll push the image. So heading back to terminal paste. And now what this will do is this will push the uh, push the image from local onto artifact registry. So this will take about 20 to 30 seconds depending on the size of your image. So that's how this is. And then it will pop up on artifact registry. And from there we'll be able to uh, like run our images container on GCP Cloud Run on Google console platforms Cloud Run. So that's where it will go up. So now let's wait for this to complete. So now we can see that uh, it's been pushed. Uh, the image has been pushed from local onto artifact registry. So if I head on to artifact registry and here is our front end image. So now the work is done. We have pushed our image and now in artifact registry itself, there are these three dots here. So if you click on it, you can see deploy to cloud run. So we'll click on that and that will directly transition us from artifact registry onto uh, cloud run. So let's head on there now. And here, what what we can do is here uh, the image comes up, and it says there's an option to continually deploy new revisions from a source repository as well. So that's another option. If you're pushing your image to a source repository, it will continuously detect that, and it will start creating its container. So here is our region, and then we'll head down, and we'll say allow unauthenticated invocations. So ideal world scenario. No, you should not do that. Always uh, authentication is required, but for the purpose of this project, we'll go forward with this. And now, hopefully, if there are no errors. Uh, the setup should be complete. So we'll wait for this to load. So while this uh, takes its time, we can head back to our um, Docker file in our React application, and here you can. Just you know, go through what this Docker file is actually doing. So this is an official node image. We are using that, and we're creating a working directory in the container. So the container is basically another machine that we are transferring our code to. So we are copying all the uh, JSON files, these package.json files, these two. We're copying it and we are uh, sent, uh, pasting it onto the uh, working directory of that container. Then we're running npm install and then uh, copy the entire project and paste it onto. Um, so when you run npm install, what happens is this node modules folder comes into picture. So we're copying that and we're throwing that also into the container and then npm run build and we're exposing the port 3000 in that container application and we are hitting npm start. So once we do that, then the application starts. So if we head back and yes, we have good news over here. So here is the deployed URL link. So I'll just go on to that and initially it will take up some time to pop up. So you will have to wait for about again 10 to 20 seconds over here, but this this will come up for sure. So this is how you will deploy your uh, React application on Cloud Run using a Docker image. So here if I just put my endpoint, uh, so register is one endpoint that I, I worked on. I'll just quickly cross check. So I'll go back here my source components and we start off with registration and yes uh, so sorry we not this that's the backend this is my backend and uh, now i will head to services routes these are my routes using uh, react router dom version 6 then the routing so register is register login and main page so that's what we need so again this will take some time so we'll wait for this as well So as you can see, it's uh, it comes up. It's a simple registration page with name, password, email, location. And if instead of register, I go head on to sorry, not log, it's login. Then we'll get the login page. And if I go to online users, then it should uh, show online users. Wait, uh, if I head back here, sorry, it's main page, not online users. Head on to main page.
and then it says welcome and no users online. So this is the React app application. Uh, thank you and have a great day ahead. Bye.